gastroparesis is a form of nerve damage which can occur with long-standing diabetes that affects the stomach's ability to empty food. In fact, the word gastroparesis is, is self-defining in that gastro refers to the stomach and paresis refers to paralysis. So essentially the stomach is not able to move food through in an appropriate timing, which can then of course lead to feeling full faster or perhaps nausea and vomiting soon after eating. The risk of developing gastroparesis comes usually with long-standing diabetes and is associated with having high blood sugars for a long period of time. It is one of the forms of autonomic neuropathy that can develop in diabetes, whereby the nerves that feed the stomach are not working as well. The risk of developing gastroparesis does appear to be higher in those living with type 1 diabetes compared to type 2 diabetes, but the overall prevalence of gastroparesis is relatively low in that some of the estimates I was able to find was about 5% after 10 years of type 1 diabetes and about 1% after 10 years of type 2 diabetes. To prevent the development of gastroparesis, the good news is it's the same kind of strategies that one would use to prevent other complications associated with diabetes, which is namely control of blood sugars to levels that are as close to normal as safely achievable, uh, as well as a regular follow-up with your diabetes team in order to help achieve that and to address any other risk factors that could impact uh, your life. But specifically, it does appear to be sugar control that seems to have the greatest impact in preventing the onset of gastroparesis. If one has gastroparesis, what can you do to manage that? So what we know is that uh, for many people, keeping the blood sugars under stable control can be helpful to minimize attacks of gastroparesis, as well as to help minimize progression of the gastroparesis. Uh, on top of that, uh, eating sort of smaller frequent meals uh, can be helpful, avoiding certain trigger foods that uh, people often will self-identify as to what can trigger an episode uh, such as really fatty foods for some people can trigger that episode. And the other thing to bear in mind is that there are other causes of gastroparesis other than diabetes and high blood sugars. And one of the more common ones that we're seeing these days is uh, use of cannabis or marijuana can also cause a delay in gastric emptying or stomach emptying. Uh, so therefore, if one has gastroparesis, I think avoiding marijuana uh, would also be helpful to minimize episodes of the gastroparesis.